everyone, it's Gidu. So in this video, I'm going to be opening up uh, the Yuri on stage Blu-ray and the new Yuri soundtrack. Um, so I got it from Amazon Japan, as you can see, but because they do not ship uh, internationally for Yuri Ice products, um, like DVD and CD products, I mean, I had to have it shipped over by Tenso. Um, this is the first package I think I've ever had opened by Customs, at least that I can recall or that I paid attention to. I'm not very happy about that. Also, the box is really crushed and the items inside don't sound packaged well at all. They just flop around. Um, so we'll see. I did have to pay, or no, I didn't have to pay for... Uh, customs for this. I didn't have to pay anything. They just checked it like they opened it up, which I find strange because it's literally just a DVD and a CD. Um, but I think what it is with customs, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you know this for sure. I think it has to do, I think they do random checks. So I think every so often, unless they have like a really suspicious box, I feel like it's more or less every hundred or every something that they have. And then they just check it just for like random checks. Um, let me know if that's how it works. If you do know, because I don't know for sure. That's just kind of my theory of what it is. So here are the, see, for Amazon items, they're generally packed inside like they're on a flat box and then they're packed in plastic over top and it keeps anything from moving around because they're sealed tight in a plastic and because customs checked my stuff they ripped open the packaging and they pulled them out so that now they're loose and they flop around so here is the Uranus stage I did not realize it was going to be like this I thought it was just going to be like the blu-ray and that's it um and here is the <laughs> the CD and there's the lovely cover with Victor's ass and this is the back with all the tracks I cannot tell if you can read them or not if you want please pause and read them if they're clear enough um I'm mostly excited for the da -da -da, at the airport which is track 32 which is the scene I believe or the song that plays when they like see each other again at the airport in episode Eight? Maybe? That's probably completely wrong. Uh, here is a flyer from Amazon Japan itself. Pretty much just saying... Probably, watch your name! Actually, it looks like you can watch it on Amazon Prime. Video. Um, and that is it in here. It looks like my packing note is not in this. Which is odd, because generally they have... A packing note because Tenso when I had this shipped to them Tenso clearly didn't check it um I don't think anyways they generally I don't think they open your boxes unless you ask them to consolidate packages which is like having two packs packages in one um so here is is that oh that's fantastic oh okay this is good so here is the soundtrack right the cover and it has a little peel up plastic which is great because normally I have to tear them open. Oh! Oh no wait, this is a separate thing! What is this? So this is a separate thing. This must be because it's from Amazon? Maybe it was a bonus? I do not know. So... This is it here. Is this... Actually, I think this is a sticker. I think this is a sticker. I'm not positive it is. If you guys know what came with the Amazon, let me know. Pretty sure this is a sticker, though, because that's the way the back looks. I'm not going to open it up. Sorry, I'm not going to, like, stick it on anything, so there's no point for me opening it. Um, also, here is the front again with... I guess I'll just open it up so you can see. So this video is going to be longer than I expected. I was just originally going to show them. I didn't realize there was going to be a bunch of little things I would have to open. I thought it was going to be a tab so I can open the actual case of the CD, but I guess not. <sighs> oh no, I'm out of breath. Um, I talked too much. I think here's the tab. So, like normal. Or is this not going to let me open it because of the way that is? Maybe I can just open it this way instead. Oh, 
my goodness, there's stickers for everything. Okay, so because of the way this is stuck on the bottom, I can't on like pull it open the entire way, which is fine with me. I like that better. I can close it easier. So let's flip this out. Here is the little side bit. This is the thing. Look at that holographic. It's so pretty. And on the side, it just shows some titly stuff. And on this side, some titly stuff. Let's open it up, shall we? It's a very nice and yellow. That's the disc in yellow. Is there anything on the gray background behind? Nope, just gray. I'm surprised they went with yellow. But you know what? It's a nice little change. Let's, let's pull out the booklet. Is there anything interesting? Is there anything interesting in the booklet? It's so pretty. Look at it. So we got a little thing for Dean Fujioka for his. Um, we have the tracks listed. We've got this lovely redraw of that first scene, the sketchy version of it. We have all of the tracks and their composers and their like artists and whatnot. Just more of that. And that is all along with the staff. So that is cool. And then the back is also a little hollow thing. Fantastic. So that is the CD. I'm sure you guys could probably find a link to download the CD online. In fact, I'm positive you could find one. Sorry if I look super shiny. I keep trying to change the lighting so it's slightly better. But I could also just be greasy because I had a day of work. Oh well. Let's move these aside. Fix the eyebrows. Now let's do your end stage. I'm so excited because like I've seen um, there is a video on YouTube of the skit that was fine that was actually translated, which is lovely. Um, so you guys can check that out if you want. I don't know what's happening here. So this one also has a little flap where a sticker, I think it's another sticker, a sticker of the group on the front cover is, it's just a little one where that one was like a large size sticker. And sorry, after I peel this up, oh, I should probably show you the back. The back looks like this and the front looks like this. We'll just open it up. I wonder what bonus it comes with. Because like all the Blu-rays came with a bonus. Um, which if you watched my videos of those unboxings, you will see. So here is the Blu-ray itself. Um, the packaging is a little scuffed up. Like the, the plastic is all scuffed up on the back. I... Don't know why, considering it's supposed to be brand new, unless the fucking customs, like, opened it, but I don't think so. I would hope not. Why would they open this kind of DVD? Also, um, there's, like, a rip in the plastic. I don't think any of this matters. I'm probably just being really ridiculous. So, this is the cover. And, yeah, the back with the damaged plastic. I don't know why it's so scuffed up. I'm such a fucking freak. So, nothing inside there except the disc itself, which looks like so. The sticker's cute, though. I'm happy they included that. So, what is this? This is just a box that holds something in it. Let's pull it out. I didn't hear any... Thing about this coming with something so I did not expect this at all and there's a little plastic tab so I'm just gonna cut through it because that makes the least amount of damage to anything um, let us open this up although then I always damage the box when I'm trying to open it because you've got to like bend it so it can fit what is this what what is this is that a fucking selfie light 
I can't read Japanese, so I don't know what it is. Um, it looks like a selfie light with Makachin on it. And that would be the funniest fucking thing. So it has a little clip and this. I am actually planning on buying a selfie light to see if it'll do better lighting than this at my work right now. So if this is a fucking selfie light, I'm going to die. Because <laughs> I needed one. Um, so there's a spot for... That I can't get open. Like, how do you open this? It looks like batteries. Is there like a... F there's a button. Does it come with batteries? I don't think it comes with batteries because it's not turning on. So maybe I can go put some batteries in this. And then I will show you if it lights up. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, so it took two AAA batteries. Let us see. Oh, and it took a little bit of prying to get this open. And I may or, not, may, or may not have scratched it. Um, the batteries were kind of tight fitting. So I don't know if that's just a normal thing. Um, let's see if this works. Ooh, look at that. It's a little ring light. I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't really give off that much light. Um, let's see. I mean, it'd probably be decent for like a selfie selfie. So I think they're supposed to clip. My charms fell off. I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. Um. I'm like, let's see if I can clip this on my phone. Does that make a difference? I think it does. Oh, there's different settings. Oh, it's not fancy. So bright, so bright. So, oh, that, that makes quite a difference. Never mind. It's like nothing. Something. Something better. Super glowy. Just kidding. Um, I wonder if that would help with lighting here. I would not be able to accidentally hit my finger on the button. It's a very cool light, though. So, like... I'm like, could you mix both cool and... Ring light. Mmm. Glow. Ooh. Shiny forehead. I am Victor. Sorry. I don't know where this video is going, but this is really neat. So it has three different settings. So it's got low, medium, and really high. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, it's a UFO. Okay. I'm gonna stop. That's really cute. I didn't realize it came with that. I love that. Okay. And the... Is this something? Oh, there's one more thing in here. Also, I'm gonna just lower the brightness slightly. There's one more thing in here. There's a book in the back. I was like, oh, that's a shiny back. So if you're on stage, that's the front. That's the back, let's get it out of this plastic. Sorry this video ended up being so long. I just got really excited about the selfie light. Dun, 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 dun. And I didn't know, I didn't realize it came with a book at all. Um, so the book's a little scuffed up, but like, what am I going to do? See the scuffs? See the scuffs? Very bright. Very mirrory. Ooh, I see myself. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. Okay, so light. I mean book, light. It's a light! <laughs> I'm sad. So the front page is that artwork of them. Oh! Look at that. It has the voice actor. So I'm pretty sure that is um, Yuri Kutsky. And I think the other one is uh, Yurio, I believe, the voice actors. Unless I got their faces wrong and their names right. I don't remember. So this has some stuff of them. Oh, they're so cute. Look, they're so cute. So I don't want to open it too wide because I don't like. And then here is... The one that plays Yurio, I believe. Does it say? 
probably says, but it's all in Japanese and I don't feel like reading. Oh, <laughs> there's Victor's voice actor. And as you can see, he dyed his hair to match Victor's and he got it like done to look like Victor's, which is fucking hilarious. But he al also said that he almost wrecked his hair doing that. Um, it's fantastic though. And then just by what he's wearing, I'm like, I don't know who this is, but it looks, he looks like he would be a Pachit, but who knows? Could be, I'm pretty sure that's Pachit. Um, oh, I'm pretty sure this is Chris. I'm not positive. I'm wrong. You guys can tell me in the comments. Um, oh, well. Considering these two are together, I'm assuming it's Leo and Guang Hong. Guang, Guang Hong. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I was like, I don't know everybody. Oh, is this more of them? Oh, it's just more of them. Okay, so I'm assuming it's probably little interviews or just little facts and stuff. And each one has like a thing <laughs> that they sign. Um, oh, here's Georgie or Georgie, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, as you can see, there's a little picture of him drawn. He is also the one that sings the ending song. Ah, fuck, I lost, I lost the page. Sorry. Sorry, this is taking so long. I just want to show you guys. Um, Kenji Nojima. I forget who this is. I forget who plays. He might be, I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, there is Emil. Toshihino. He also plays Noise in Dramatical Murder. Um, <laughs> this is Minami. Um, also plays Hinata in Haikyuu. Jun Fukuyama, who plays, um, a Japanese version of Lelouch in Code Geass. I forget what character he is, though. I am sorry. That isn't everybody, though. Oh, that must have just been everyone who is included in the stage event. Because I was like, I don't see Odebeck. Where is Odebeck? And then we've got some stuff from Mitsuru Kubo, uh, the artist and writer. Um, just some more stuff, and then like staff stuff. And then there's the cute, more like unfinished version of the art for this. So that is all that comes with Yuri on stage. Also, this is actually like cut into the you can't see, but this is actually cut into it, so that, like it, like you can feel it. Not that that's important, but um, yeah. So this is what came with all of this order. I am sorry this video ended up being so long. I didn't mean to. I just like being thorough with this stuff, and also I talk a lot. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, links to description, links in the description below for all of my social media and that stuff, and my affiliate links. If you buy anything through that link, I get a small commission. So thank you for all of you who have purchased from before. I can't English today. I'm really tired. Um, so thank you for that, and I don't know, I think that's done. I got really bright again. Ooh, ooh, is it better? Oh, it's better up here. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, there we go. So, I'm real tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, but if you guys like this, give me a like, comment, because I like talking to people. I'm just happy I can share this stuff. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video.